guys, I've been to have it is Ochres, and this is the best K5 slash breakneck class in my opinion. And let's go straight into the class setup. Okay guys, here we have the class setup, and of course it's the K5 breakneck. The elite version is probably the best version of the K5 in the game, in my opinion anyway. So first I have foregrip, and we all know this gun has very, very bad recoil, so that also helps a lot. See, like, foregrip is a necessity for this gun. Uh, and we want to advanced rifling. Uh, advanced rifling, you need it because every submachine gun in this game has very low range, and you have to nearly have it on every submachine gun. And they're probably the two most important attachments on every submachine gun in this game. And also, I don't really like using sights or suppressor because it's not really high damage. It's, it's going either. So no suppressor and laser sight helps a lot. Even though it actually down by two, I mean, even though it goes down by two, it's still really, really good for hip for accuracy. It has the high, high fire rate it has. So uh, that's obviously, it's 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 still equal in every way. Uh, so that's really the attachments. So the attachments I picked that I thought were good. And for handgun, um, I picked the M43 Gratch Snappy. You might not have these, they're dual wheel handguns. Oh, they're so overpowered. They're unbelievably, like, hard to explain how good they are. And maybe the only bad, only downside about them is they've not, not much ammo. So uh, basically that's it. I don't use any attachments on them either. And these, of course, use private gunfighter to unlock that third attachment. If I wasn't going to use private gunfighter, I'd take off um, the laser sight and they just leave on advanced rifling. But uh, that's just my way. Uh, for perks, uh, I use lightweight because this gun submachine gun. If you're running gunning, so you get the you get the advantage over the enemies when you're running past them or whatever, you're sliding past them, jumping, whatever the case may be when you're trying to kill them. Uh, so lightweight always helps. Gung ho, same situation applied uh, running past them it's much easier to shoot when you're running instead of having to stop and sliding as well you sliding helps a lot especially if you're going to play into a hard point or such as such or maybe into an area of capture like a domination or something and toughness because this gun's such recoil and say if you're getting shot at it increases so much it's really hard to fight back and shoot against them and i think toughness is like a perk you need in every gun to be honest maybe not for snipers but Definitely, definitely for every other gun in the game. And guys, uh, extra ability, overclock. Again, for this kind of a running gun class as well. So, overclock is very good for submachine guns as you can move them pacey and quick to get through them gunfights. And that's what I use that for. And X launcher, I don't think you really need one. If you want to use one, I would maybe take off the handgun and put down an X launcher. Maybe uh, a Semtex or um, a stun grenade because you're going into them into them situations at the hard point and capturing the flags or whatever game mode you're playing. Uh, score streaks I have the UV and you support guys, you have to support in this because it just I I tell you I probably get three UVs a game, maybe more. And this this is the reason I get get so many of these like high high UVs cause it's cause support cause it adds up every time. But maybe if you do add I think it's extra time and threat detection is really good as well. Uh, I think it adds up to 1,100 for how much it costs for the module cost. So uh, it's still still really good like this anyway. So I keep this like that. Uh, next we have system hack. Wait, accent. <laughs> next we have system hack. System hack. Uh, we all know how hacked this is. It's so annoying when it comes from your screen. It really like pisses you off a lot. So that's why I use it to piss people off, even though it pisses me off being a hypocrite myself. And last of all, uh, bombing run. I think this is probably the best kill streak in the game or score streak in the game. Uh, it's I think it's really overpowered. You can get quad fees nearly every time you use it, and basically that's it. So guys, that is the class. That's K five, uh, best class and the breakneck class. You can use these attachments on the normal K five if you if you wish to. Uh, so that has been the class setup, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. They're all down below. Please get. Please click the subscribe button, that really helps my motivation to make more videos and bring more videos out for you guys. So uh, that's it guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bounce.